All right, so many of you have asked for a rooster painting, so here is how I would paint one. I'm using canvas board today, and with my mop brush, I'm taking light blue and white and doing back and forth strokes at the top to create a sky. I'm only gonna do the top though because I want most of the painting to be a barnyard. I'm taking a mop brush then again with some nutmeg brown and some tan and doing back and forth strokes in the middle. And right at the bottom where the rooster is going to be standing, I'm going to do dark brown. I don't know much about roosters or chickens, but I do know they tend to destroy grass. So I'm thinking he's gonna be standing in some mud of some kind. <laughs> and then with the clean mop brush in the background, I do want there to be something in the horizon line. So I'm bouncing in some trees with some dark teal and then fixing up the bottoms with a little bit more brown. I even have some teal on there still, so I'm gonna add some shading in the distance. Now I'm not gonna do too much detail yet because your rooster is gonna cover most of this, but I do wanna add some grasses in the distance. I'm gonna take a fan brush with some dark green, light green, tan, and even a little bit of dark yellow, and just do some upward strokes all over in different patches. I'm gonna kinda make it a little bit patchier and probably go back in and fix it up a little bit more later. And let's see, I'm gonna try to add some hay at the bottom. I'm trying a sea sponge first and just scratching it on. Um, this is a little bit more of an, an impressionist look. Um, I like that actually, but I think it's a little bit too busy. So I am going to add some more mud back in underneath where the rooster is going to go. This is a trust the process painting. So you can sketch the shape of the rooster first if you aren't comfortable freehanding, but I'm going to freehand with my medium round brush. I'm going to start with a wide U shape like that. I'm using light tan and the side on the right goes up a little bit further than the left. And where the curve starts, I'm gonna make a U shape going out to the right and then connect those ends. That's a funky looking triangle, but fill in that shape then. I'm using again, light tan. And on the opposite side, I'm gonna do a curved line down with a line going up to the left and then connect that with a curved line. It's an opposite uh, funky looking triangle, fill that in as well. Ooh, that's a fun shape. All right, now I'm going to take some nutmeg brown, just light brown, do a line underneath that curve, bring a line going down and over, that's his wing. All right, so fill that in. I suggest if you have a picture of your own rooster or a favorite type of rooster, look at that for reference, but I'm showing you how to get the shapes. What we're doing right now is called the underpainting or the base layer. See, now I'm making the bottom half of the rooster. See how I outlined that right-hand side? Swooped a line down for his chest. It curves around to underneath him and then meet it to the other side. Fill that in, there you go. Definitely have to trust the process today with this painting. There are a lot of layers. All right, let's do his tail. Roosters, actually, their coloring in their tail remind me of a peacock. I'm using bright blue and some dark green. And I'm taking my medium round brush and I'm just adding some feathers off that bottom part there on the left hand side. That's where his tail goes. I'm also taking some black for shading. You can make them as funky as you want. They're sticking out all over the place. I'm even gonna pull them out a little bit further at the top there. All right, let's do his legs. I'm taking some yellow and some orange with a detail brush and see how his leg doesn't go straight down, but it's actually going down to the right. And then I'm adding some big toes. Their toes almost remind me of a, a dinosaur claw a little bit. They have these little, uh, toenails that come out. I'm gonna have his top leg coming straight out like he's lifting it up, he's posing. Uh, and don't forget to add those little claws there. And for them to balance, they have these toes. I don't know uh, technical terms. You're gonna have to help me with that. At this I know a little bit, but I don't know much about roosters. Uh, but I know they have these little toes here. See, his, that one's coming out to the back. And let's work on his head. So we're going to add his comb. That's what the crown at the top of his head is called. I'm gonna outline the top of his head and then add a little comb shape. It's curved on the left and then it's got these little curved points uh, on the top. Shape that however you want and fill it in. And then like a peacock, he has a mask, but it's mostly red. A lot of his face is red. Also his waddle, I'm gonna pull that out. That's just a curved uh, backward C on the right-hand side and fill all of that in. Let's even do his earlobe there. 
And don't forget a beak. I'm using the same colors I did for the legs with a detail brush, put in a beak. Ah, there you go. There is a plucked rooster, but let's give him some feathers. So I'm going to start with his chest feathers. I'm taking a medium round brush again with some white and a little bit of black to make them uh, gray tinted. And I'm just dabbing, dab, 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 like pressing down and lightly pulling up in the direction of his head. See how they are following the curve of his chest or his breast that's going up and getting tinier, tinier little dabs as you get up to his neck. So fill that in. I'm not being too particular, but I'm adding texture. This painting is all about texture. And down above where his feet are, I'm going to pull down. I'm using more black at the bottom because it is shaded. But see the, the harsh edge of your outline? You want to make sure that's covered with texture. So I pulled that down past the outline. And let's see, I'm gonna add a little bit more texture over here, but I'm going to add more white. I forgot, I think these are called down feathers. Correct me if I'm wrong. And let's see, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna add a couple more white highlights while I have the white there, but I am also going to define these a little bit more now that they're dry. Taking a little bit of black on my brush and kind of seeing where you can see definite strokes that are rounded, and I'm outlining just the bottom half of them in black. That's going to give you even more of a texture and a fun pattern because roosters have some beautiful different patterns. I know they vary. This one um, was actually my parents' rooster. I went and I took some pictures of him because they just recently got him and he was gorgeous. So many different patterns and colors. I'm doing all that. On the other side, on the ones that are darker down here, I'm going to actually add some white highlights on the opposite side. There we go. See, I'm really not thinking too hard about it. I'm just letting it happen. Let's see. On these white feathers over here, I'm going to add a little bit of black pattern for shading. And let's define his wing. There's kind of a pointed part here on the left and I'm going to clean up that edge. And let's see, this one had some black rounded feathers right above where his leg is. So I'm going to make some of that black and outline the left side of his wing a little bit with black as well. Now, here's where some of the color comes in. I'm taking some dark yellow and I'm just pulling down some texture. I'm taking that. The black was wet, so it blended in there. And also taking some brown at the top. I'm even going to add some white in the middle there for shading. I'm not waiting for it to dry. I'm just letting it blend. Love that. All right, I'm going to bring his wing down a little bit further because I made that so wide, but that's okay. I want to make these black ones stand out a little bit more there. You can keep going back and adding. See, I'm even adding some orange over top of that. I love all those different shades together. I'm just very lightly feathering down. I'm even going to add a little bit of tan at the top there and brown. This is where a reference picture comes in handy because every rooster is a little bit different. Now let's do his head. We're gonna take a fan brush with some nutmeg brown, some yellow, and even some tan. And see what I'm doing? I am just lightly brushing it on. Brushing it on and sticking with the curve. I feel like he has this luscious head of hair that I am combing with this. I'm lightly combing it. But I'm pulling it down and I'm making sure the hackles are going down over top of that rough outline at the top of the wing and where his chest ends. Now, notice I did a darker layer and I'm going to start adding some white over top of it and then adding brown and then just keep going back and forth. What I like to do to add dimension is I lightly add a darker layer. So here's some darker nutmeg and then I'm brushing over top some light tan and light white, especially white at the top of his head for highlight. And we're gonna do the same thing to the back of him. I'm but gonna take some more color though this time and brush in some yellow and then add white over top of that and just keep layering white, white and dark, white and dark over top. See, I'm using some nutmeg there. Again, coloring is different on every rooster. And I'm just gonna keep brushing him, brush it down. Make sure you're hiding that rough outline that we had in the beginning. Don't forget white at the top for highlights there. And I'm gonna do some just kind of spaced out in between there to highlight him some more. I'm gonna even add some orange. Very light touch, again, all about texture. I am not thinking too hard about it today. I'm gonna add some more white. <laughs> again, you can keep going back. And now taking a round brush, I'm also gonna add some shading to the tail with some black. Curve that out a little bit more. Oh, we're getting there. 
All right, all in the details. Let's start adding some detail to the head. For his comb, if you remember the red truck painting, how we added dimension to that. The red was the base coat, but I'm gonna go back in with some white and add some contouring. And then when that dries, I'm gonna start using some brighter red and some dark red and do a coat over that. That gives it a little bit more shading. And can't forget his eye, I'm gonna keep working with that. And this rooster had like whiskers, like white whiskers. So I'm gonna add some of that with a detail brush. Let's fix the shape of his waddle, that was bothering me. And I'm gonna add some black for shading. Again, as always, it's up to you how much detail you do. I'm just showing you what I did for this particular rooster. He had a little patch of white too where his ear was. I think that's called his earlobe. And I'm gonna add some more white, add some more white highlights at the top of his head. And for his waddle, and let's see on his face, I'm just gonna keep going and adding some contouring and highlighting uh, until I get it the way I want. Totally up to you. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. I'm always for highlighting and making it brighter towards the outside edges, especially if you have a busy background, it can help it stand out a little bit more. See there, I'm gonna even add some more detail, especially to his beak. I'm taking a detail brush and adding the section in between his beak and outlining it as well. Very, very thin outline, because I don't really want him to look like a cartoon today. Add some highlights to his beak as well. There we go, we're getting there. And this rooster had orange around his eye. It was a pretty eye color. So I'm add that in and outline it with some even darker red, add a little bit more shading. All right, now let's work on his legs. Now, he doesn't have feathers on his legs, but again, they remind me of a dinosaur. So I'm going to, first of all, add some shading and make it darker with some nutmeg and some orange on the back ends and adding a little bit more white with orange on the tops of him. Think about where the sun would be hitting him. I'm using orange and yellow with, again, a little bit of white for the highlight or a little bit of nutmeg for the shading. And they have scales. So I'm taking some white with a little bit of those colors as well with a detail brush and just dotting on a little bit of texture on the top half. You couldn't really see it on the back where the shading was, but you could see the light reflecting off the scales on the top. So I'm gonna do that to the tops of his legs and to the tops of his toes, just like that. Little, little dots and fix up his claws. They were white, but dirty. So I added it white and then uh, made them a little bit dirty looking. Okay, I'm pretty happy with him, but the background is bugging me. So I'm going to make it darker, darker mud around the bottom of him and add even more grass. So maybe he picked up the mud around him, but I want the back of him to have more grass. And then I do still want there to be hay. That first technique with the sponge didn't work all that well, but I'm going to take a detail brush with some yellow and a little bit of white and just add some random strokes. I'm gonna do X's in some places, but do as much as you want all around. And maybe there's a couple patches of grass in the front. I'm even gonna add some patches in the back with a detail brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark green uh, blotches for shading and then go in with a detail brush and add even more texture. See, I did a lot of texture. It's up to you how much detail you do. And then I'm going to take a mop brush again. I'm making the trees a little bit taller, uh, same color, but I did add a little bit of blue and white to the tops of them to make them look highlighted. You can even use a detail brush to add a couple little trunks. And now since I did go back and fix up my background, I do have to clean up the edges of the rooster a little bit, but I suggest doing this anyway. I'm taking a small detail brush with some white, and I'm not doing a straight line like a cartoon, I'm feathering it out. White on the top, and I'm also gonna take some dark brown with my detail brush and start to define some of his hackle feathers. I'm gonna even add some tan and yellow. I like to do white and brown for highlights and shading. Let's do some highlights on his comb and waddle and let's fix up his breast feathers. I'm taking some white and just adding some curved lines on the outside edge. Let's even add some more fluffy feathers at the bottom of him where his feet are, and then some black for some shading, like that underneath his wing. And how about a thin white outline, very, very faint on the tops of his legs and toes. He had this fluffy little patch of feathers on the back of him where his tail starts, so I added that in. I'm using a medium round brush again, fluffing that in. He even had some brown colors. 
gonna fix up the edges of his wing like that let's even fluff out his wing feathers a little bit up here so pretty so many textures and don't forget a shadow underneath your rooster's feet so i'm kind of outline the bottoms of them with black and a little bit of brown there we go and there is my rooster i would love to see your rooster paintings have fun